Jen, good day, darling. It's Heather. How are you? What time is it there in the UK? Jeez, oh, sorry, darling. Were you in bed? Behind the fridge. Oh, lovely. Nice when it's quiet at night, isn't it? I always say us cockroaches are a sociable family, but we do appreciate our peace when we get it. Just wanted to run through the plans for the reunion while the bar is quiet. I've been busy. Nah, Bruce has been no help at all. Cockroach men, eh? Just leave it to the females. <laughs> now, Jen, I know this is controversial, but I've decided not to ask the termites to the reunion. I know they're family, but they're so negative and they just pick holes in everything. I've said we'll have the cousins from Madagascar if they'll keep the hissing to a minimum. It's so upsetting during the speeches. People think they're being heckled. I wanted to ask you, did you manage to get in touch with the family in India yet? They're great and everything, but I am concerned about the kids coming too, if any of them are still suckling. It's the mouth parts, the way they hook on, and then when they start biting to suck the blood too. No one wants to see that next to the buffet. And we have been so lucky with the caterers. They do everything rotten from scratch, and they don't even charge extra for vomiting over the food. The guest list? I'll email it over to you. How many did you have space for behind the fridge, did you say? 18 at a push. OK, Dal. Well, on the list at the moment, let's see. We've got one, two, Auntie Mary, Pilkington... Uh, 4,500, give or take. But obviously some will drop out. Kids sick, you know. Is there anywhere we could spill over into, do you think? Next door? Oh, marvellous. The students? Oh, Dal, I don't think I fancy that. They'll be filthy. Natural History's comedy from BBC Radio 4. <laughs> to hear from more like me, go to bbc.co.uk slash naturalhistories. <laughs>